By 2030, there will be more of us and we will need more energy, 50% more. Satisfying our energy demand without risking escalating global warming requires drastic short-term measures against the major CO2 emitters, power plants, heavy industry and refineries. One of the most promising solutions can be found in carbon capture and storage technology, CCS for short. CCS is all about capturing CO2 from large emitters, for instance power plants. And this captured CO2 can be transported via pipelines and stored under ground fences in empty gas fields. The capturing process transforms the CO2 to prepare it for transport and storage. Chemical solvents first wash or separate the CO2 stream before it is being dehydrated and compressed. Between 2008 and 2011, the EU-funded project CESA explored cost reduction possibilities of the capturing process, such as the analysis of various low-cost solvents. So, after the testing in the lab, the solvents were tested at a small-scale pilot like this, and the most promising ones were selected for testing at even a larger scale. Such as this pilot plant at Mars Vlakta in Rotterdam, which is currently being used for the CESA follow-up project Octavius. In the case of project Octavius, we estudions the aspects operational of the de captage of CO2 on a pilot that traces the effluents of a thermic thermal charbon. The EU-funded projects CESA and Octavius advance CCS to a stage where all aspects can now be tested, including transportation and storage. When a full-scale implementation of CCS at a European level is proven feasible and cost-efficient for the industry, a CO2 reduction of 400 million tonnes by 2030 will no longer be just a distant dream.